morning, saints. This prayer mic is officially open. Let's get excited this morning. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Line up on the wall. We're interceding for 10 minutes. We're using declarative prayers. We're prophesying into the atmosphere what God is doing today. So, Father, we thank you that today is a day of salvation. We thank you that you are softening hearts, that you are opening minds, that you are releasing your presence in a brand new way. We thank you, God, that today people will come in and they will leave changed in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the celebration of this day, Lord Jesus. When you were dead, you came back to life. And this morning, Lord, we declare that this is a day of celebration as well because the unsaved are going to come into this place. And we declare and we prophesy that at least one is going to come to know you in a way that they haven't before. Yeah, today is a joyous day. And right now, I just declare that people are waking up, that they're thinking that it's Easter. They didn't even, it didn't even dawn on them and they don't normally come to church. But right now, they're like, you know what, it's Easter. And I saw that sign so many times. So I declare over Stratford that right now, come one, come all, that people will come, that people are right now gonna just get up, get ready, not worry about what they're wearing, not worry about what they're doing, but they're just gonna get up and it's gonna be drawn here. They're gonna remember that sign right now in Jesus' name. We declare miracle signs and wonders today in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, that today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of freedom. Today is the day of healing. So we thank you, Lord. We step into it. We say yes and amen. He is alive. Let us rejoice and celebrate. There is resurrection power in this house. I declare there will be breakthrough, there will be healings, and there will be freedom in Jesus' name. Jesus, this morning I just declare and release your transforming power. God, to, to change situations, to bring hope to those who need hope. And God, that you are changing the atmosphere in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We send out a call to the north, south, east, and west. We open up the highways and byways in Jesus' name. We fling open the doors that people would come home today. It is a homecoming day in Jesus' name. Right now, I declare that Stratford will experience the promises you've made over them, God that every heart in Stratford would experience your presence, your living hope, and I just release that over Stratford right now. I just declare victory and freedom in this house today, just as the angel rolled away the stone that Jesus was behind and sat on top of it, that God is giving us the same power. He goes, I'm rolling the stone away. He's given you the stone to roll away the stone that's in front of your destiny, that's keeping you in cage. He says, you have the power where you are removing the stone and you're gonna sit on top in complete freedom in Jesus name just like when Mary ran to them and she said he is alive he is alive I declare right now that that's the broadcast that's over Stratford that he is alive that he is well that he is a good father that he's a good son that he's a savior that people have hope that people can come out right now in Jesus name people will know right now that there is hope there is hope in their lives his name is Jesus and he is alive in the name of Jesus, I just remove every obstacle for every person that needs to be here. Because there are people that God has ordained for this day to be the day of salvation for them. And so we speak against every obstacle that there would be an opening in highways. There would be an opening in, um, in people's hearts. That, that there would be nothing that would be able to stop bringing them here to hear the word that Jesus, you would transform their life to speak right now that there's new encounters of God, that he's going to come in visions, he's going to come in dreams, that right now we're going to feel the fire of God and the presence of God so thick that we can never say we haven't experienced God, that anybody that hasn't experienced will experience in it today in Jesus' name. So I stand with what my brother Mike said, man, just that power today. And I just declare that today is a day that it reverberates throughout this whole nation today that people recognize what Jesus did for us and there is no shame and condemnation because he took it away when he rose up from the grave it was gone in that minute and I pray that this is the day where everybody just realized there is no shame there is no condemnation and I want to be with Jesus because he's the one who gave me that beautiful gift that treasures are being found this morning, that gold is being revealed in hearts, that his resurrection power is going to overshadow in Jesus' name. I just want to thank God 
that he took all the pain so that, that we would have to have fellowship, that there would be an option for fellowship, and that we get to have that fellowship, and he rose from the grave so we can actually rise from death and actually live in him. I just speak that, that we would just love and feel that presence right now in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, we rejoice with you today. <laughs> we speak your Holy Spirit's presence of joy, of laughter and rejoicing over us, Father. We thank you that you are our delight, that you delight over us, Father. We speak over this room. There is this season of rejoicing, Father. We thank you that there is peace being released with tenfold in this room. We thank you for your presence. We say yes and more and more and more in Jesus' name. So I got a picture in the back, and it was like at the voting booth. And it said choice and it had a box. And I declared that today is the day that people check the yes to Jesus and they choose to have him in their life and they choose new life in Jesus' name. Yeah, I just want to declare in the name of Jesus that people who have been going to church their whole life today would experience breakthrough and encounters with you, Lord. And that people would be free from the bondage of legalism, of guilt and shame and doubt. And that they would just encounter your love and encounter your resurrection, Jesus, in a new way today. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do.